magic is real. Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Andrew Demon. Today, part of the magic is real thing, whatever. Today, I'm reviewing the deck. So I also found that box. So as of now, it's gonna be in the back. So now to open it up. Why is this giving me so much trouble? Okay. Here's the deck. So I'm gonna put the deck over here, put up the top card and then put it down somewhere else. So this flame lash. Um flame lash deals four damage to target creature or player if my phone will focus. I said focus. Alright, that's a pretty good card. I'll be using that. Another flame lash. A third flame lash. Four good. There was another one. There was a different thing. Cathodic Reunion. As an additional cost to cast, Cathodic Reunion discard two cards, and then I just draw three. Hmm. That's cool. Oh. Build to last. Target creature plus gets plus two plus two until end of turn. If it's an artifact feature, it gains indestructible. Wow. That is good. You see the effect of indestructible. That is really good. Another. Then some Plains Land. Plains Land. You know, all the lands are just gonna go here. More land. 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 And land. 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 I'm just gonna keep flipping over land. Oh, Mountain Land. The mountains. Way more lands. Ooh, special land. Stone Quarry enters the battlefield tapped and oh it can be mountain or on um, plains. So I have two, three, four of those. Okay, now some other ones. It's an artifact. Trample and haste. And as crew one, tap any number of creatures you control with total power one or more. Um and it becomes an artifact creature until end of the turn. Wow. And it has six one and only takes four to something. That is so good. That is so good. Then Bombat Bazaar Barge. Artifact. When I enter the battlefield, draw a card and true three. Okay. Basically just a true one, but instead of um power one, it's power three. Um there's Renegade Fighter. Um, same thing. Oh, whenever it attacks. Gets plus one plus one and trample. Ooh, trample is um. So if this is gonna have five four when it attacks, and if I, and if somebody's guarding, um, who has let's just say three three, then since five is two more than three, I'll do two damage to the opponent. But first, I'll have to do crew two. Have any number of creatures I control with total power two or more, and then it becomes a four three creature. Nice. Another one. The sky skiff. It's it has flying. Um and crew one in order to do it. it takes two to cast. Um another sky skiff. Sky swall hell yeah. Okay. Finally I'm actually getting some just legit creatures. And it has flying. Nice. Snare Thopter. <laughs> that sounds kinda of funny. Snare Thopter. Flying in haste, wow. Only costs four through two. That is good. That is very good. 
They are your responder. Flying, vigilance, and lifelink. Okay. Fl I know what flying means. It can only be all by people, by other creatures who have reached or flying. Vigilance means that it does not get tapped when it attacks, which is super good. But I forgot what lifelink is. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I think that lifelink is any damage that you deal, you gain that amount of life. Cost three and it's two, three creature. That is, if that's what lifelink is, then that's good. We have another one. Now some mountains. Brazen storage. Um, it has haste, and it's pretty cheap. Um, so we have this spire side infiltrator. He, um, it's three two cost. Three to cost. Whenever it becomes tapped, one damage to each opponent. Whoa! I'm gonna love that card so much. Um, another one of them. Renegade Firebrand. As, I, as long as I can control, as long as I control a charge of planeswalker, it has plus one plus zero and four strike. For freedom, for fame, for fire, is what he wants. Another one. Another one. Now, world fast monitor. Um, costs three. It's not fast creature. Um, tap one mountain. It gains menace. That means it can only be blocked. By two or more creatures. Um. Mm. Uh, when veteran motorist enters the battlefield, try two. That means I look at the top two cards of my deck. Um, and I can leave as many as I want on top, and and also put some at the bottom, which is good. Um, when when whenever um veteran motorist crews a vehicle, that means it's tapped for a crew. Um, and that's because I have some artifact vehicles. That vehicle gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Wowza. That is good. Also, it's three run one, and it only costs two. What? Another one? Trusty companion. Um, it can't attack alone, so it has to attack something else, and it has vigilance. Three, two. It's pretty cheap. That is good. Another trusty companion. Gear shift ace. First strike. That means if I'm attacking something else with also two on like it. So if a gear shift ace is attacking a gear shift ace, then um actually that would be kind of like a paradox. Because it, they both have first strike. They would always strike before the other. But if I find something else that is two on, I'll deal two damage to its toughness first. And then defeat it. Uh, so, whenever Deal Shift Ace crews a vehicle, vehicle gains for strife. All of this is about vehicles. Speedway Fanatic. Oh my god. Crews a vehicle that vehicle gains haste. And it has haste. I bet you that there's going to be such a cool combo. Liberating Combustion. Liberating Combustion deals 6 damage to target creature. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Chandra. Pyro genius and reveal it. Put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Oh my god. This is so good. And it, oh, it's not that cheap. I'm going to be using that a lot. The two. Um, flat wheel cruiser. Artifact vehicle with trampoline and haste. When fleet wheel cruiser enters the battlefield, it becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Um, and then crew two, in order to um give it, um, with a, in, in order to turn into a two, and it's five three, and it only costs four. That's good. Now the last card, faithful showdown. It's an instant. Um, faithful showdown deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of cards in your hand. This card, all the cards in your hand, and draw that many cards. That is a good card. So now I am going to. Just put the deck together, and um, yeah, and when and then I'll battle someone with it in the next video. So, oh, so now Liliana's jealous and she wants to be focused on. So, enjoy this bit of Liliana. Okay, that's enough. So now I'm putting this all together. Random order. 
Um, then I am going to shuffle it. And then see top seven cards that I get. So, um, then I'll see a hand that I would get if I was playing an actual match. Oh. And all the lands are together. You know what? I won't do the top seven cards. I'll do that in a different video. <laughs> so, this is part two. Two and a half. I'm going to do, be, be doing a play by play where I get top seven cards. And then um, I'll see how I would do my taunt with those top seven cards. So, that was a review of a magic deck. Oh, no! I forgot something. Chandra, Pyro Genius. Um, I'm going to move my camera. Okay. Um, health, five. Um, these effects. I need to give myself plus two health. Deal two damage to each opponent. That's good. Minus three, four damage to target creature. Minus ten health. Chandra Pyro Genius deals six damage to a target player and each creature he or she controls. And to cost her, six. Okay. So that was my review on the Chandra Pyro Genius deck. Part two and a half will be the play-by-play. -play. And part three, I'm going to be actually battling someone. See you next time. Bye.